Hi, George here, and today we're going to be making a shirt in Roblox. Now it's pretty easy to do, but there are a few steps you have to go through to get this thing to work properly. First, we'll need a template for the shirt, so go over here where it says Avatar, and in here, go over to Clothing, and come down to Shirts right there, and then click on Create. And right here, you can get a template for this, and that's right there, little link right there. Okay, let's click on Download it here, and there's the template. We'll first need to save this to the computer, so right click, and I'm going to save the image as, and I'm just putting it here into a new folder that I made, and I just called it shirt, put it right there. Okay, and that's downloaded, that's all set to go. Let's now go over to the desktop, there's a file, and I'll be opening this up in paint.net, it's a free download, I'll put a link for that right down there, and also in the description, so let's go ahead and open this up in paint.net, and there we go. Now the first thing I want to do is to come in here and turn this into a regular template, and the best way to do that is to save it as a new file, so I'll keep this one as my backup just in case. So I'll go up here to File, come down to Save As. And I'll just give this a new name here. Let's just get rid of those numbers right there. And I'll call it Template Shirts HTG. That's fine for me. Choose Save. OK. And there we go. That's now Save. This is now our new template. Let's now zoom in on this. Grab the Zoom tool. And I'll just zoom in a bit, just like that. Pretty close in here, as you can see. If you hold the space bar down, you can move your image around. And there's one more safety on this. I'm going to go over here to the Layers panel, and I'm going to Duplicate. Click on that, go up here to Layers, and come down to Duplicate Layer, and then hide that background. That's just our safety, just in case things get messed up. And I'll rename this, double-click here, and rename this one. I'll call that Template, choose OK, and we're all set. Now go over here, grab this tool. This is just a rectangular select tool. You can do these exact same steps in any image editing program. They'll all work just fine. It just has to have transparency available, so you can't use Windows Paint but pretty much anything else will work out just fine on this. And I'll just make a selection just like that, right over that light blue area here. Hit the delete key, and that cuts a hole in that. Let's do one more of these. I'll come down here and do the right, and that's right there. Same thing, delete key. And I'll now go ahead and cut out the rest of these. So do everything for the body up here, and then also cut out all these spots down here for the two arms. And there we go, there are all the colored areas cut out, and there's now just holes in there. We can see how that works. I'm gonna come down here to the background layer and click on the new layer button right there. Here's a new layer. And let's just put a color in here. I'll describe just kind of a medium blue and the paint bucket and click in here. And that fills that layer with blue, and then that shows through on the template. So there's our basic coloration. We'll go fancier than this, of course. But first, I want to bring in some shading for this. And for that, let's go over to the internet. And let's do a search here. Roblox shirt shading, just like that. And it brings up here a lot of images on this one. And I'll be using the one right over here. I find this works out really well. Now, notice that some of these have this square dart down below here on those two arms. Some of them don't. It's kind of cut off like that. That is where the hand is. So if you cut off just a little bit of the shirt and you cut off the bottom part, you then show flesh color through there or hand color right there. So a little more interesting shirt design with that bottom part cut off. So let's go into here and I'll go into this site, click on that picture and I'll put this link up here into the description so you can go ahead and get the same download without going through that search if you don't want to. Just come right down here and download and I'll put it right back into the same folder right there. Choose save. There we go. That's taken care of. Okay, let's now go back over to paint.net. That's right here. And we'll open up that file. Let's file open. And it's right there, choose open. Now use the control A keyboard shortcut to select the whole page. Control C to copy. Go back over here. And we're on layer three, make a new layer above that layer. There we go. And then control V to paste. And then paste that onto that new layer and we can see through. And you need to move things around just a little bit, just kind of line that up properly. There we go, it's all lined up great up here. Notice down below it's cut off a little bit right there and there's nothing on the bottom. That's gonna be for the hand part of this. That gives us just a little bit more detailed look. I'll do control D to deselect that. There we go. So there's your basic shirt. Now you can do anything you want to at this point to make it as fancy as you want. And we're going to start off by putting an interesting texture in here. I'll come right down here to layer three and let's make a new layer. We'll put our texture right there on what is now layer five. And for that, let's go over and find something on the internet. And I'm going here to Pixabay, which is a free image download site. Again, I'll put that link in the description. And let's change the drop down here to illustrations. And I'm just going to type in Fabric, you know, do fabric texture. That looks good. And there's a lot of stuff in here. That's kind of a that's a fun camouflage look. Here's something kind of strange, furry kind of a thing in there. Abstract furry. There's a leopard pattern. We'll find something bright and fun in here. This is the strange bright abstract thing. That's kind of odd looking. I think that'd be fun. Click on download. We'll need to have a small size on this because we're using pretty small file sizes. So 
Go for the smallest file size, choose download, and download it back into the same folder again, choose save. Okay, there it is. Let's now go back over to paint.net and open that file up. So that's file and open. There it is right there, choose open. Same thing, we're gonna be doing a control A to select everything, control C to copy, back over to this file. We're on our new layer already, control V to paste. Keep canvas size, and there we go. Now it's a little bit off size, that's fine. I'm just going to grab the sides in here and we can pull these in to fit better, right there. I'm gonna pull the bottom down to fit. I'll pull this down right to where the bottom of the shading is, about there. And then I'll grab the top line here and pull it up just a little bit. There we go, real bright kind of multicolored shirt here. Control D to deselect. You can now hide this blue layer. We don't need that anymore. They can see right in here, there is the shading is still there. So we have our shading on this as well. Okay, so far so good. We could use this as is if we wanted to, real fancy and bright. We can go a couple steps further on this, a couple little things that we can do. I'm gonna zoom in up here at this top section and let's hide that layer. And here's the shading. And notice right in here, there's kind of an oval shape in here. That's a neck hole area for the shirt. We're gonna recreate that. And I'll grab this shape here. This is just an elliptical tool. And up here someplace, I'm just gonna pull this down like that, make an ellipse right in that area. Now I'm still on layer five. Let's just show layer five. Hit the delete key. And it just cuts that out of that area. There's now space here so they can get some skin showing through that neck of the shirt. So that looks good. And I'll set this back to zoom to window. And then I'll zoom in here. If you wanna go fancy and make this into a jacket, you can. I'm gonna do that on a new layer, put a new layer here right above that layer. And I'll grab just a basic white in here and then grab a paintbrush. This is a real small brush size. I'm gonna bring my brush size up a lot here. Let's see what we have. There's a 30 brush, that's too big. We'll try a 10, 10's pretty good. And I'll come right here and I'm just gonna come in here and just paint something kind of like that. And I'll bring it down that far and then over here just a little bit and then right across in there, paint it out. There we go, that's gonna be where a shirt is for us. And I want some shading in here along those edges. So for that, let's just make our brush size smaller. Let's try down to a four. That's pretty good right here. And I want a dark color, maybe like a dark gray, like that. And then I wanna make it so that we're not getting solid in here. I'll go with the 5% just real light. And let's change our hardness in here. I want the hardest real small. It's kind of a soft brush. Down around 10 is pretty good. And also just a little bit of a line right down this side. Those little dots in there, don't worry about the dots. And I'll put a line right down this side as well. There we go. Just like that. Now I want to erase this, this little bit that's right up in here. So for that, let's go over to the eraser tool. And I'll just erase that just following that same ellipse we had before. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's now zoom that back out to fit. View, zoom to window. And we'll zoom in a little bit right here. There we go. That's all we need. Let's now take this out and put it over into Roblox. So for that, I'm going to be saving this two times. Just zoom back to window. The first time is because I have all these layers in here and I have my template. I want to be able to reuse this again later real easily. So I'm going to save this out as a paint.net file first. So file. Save as, it should automatically make this a paint.net file. It does choose save. That's done. We now need to save this with transparency because we have these holes in here. So file, save as, and then save it as a PNG file, which is a nice file type that has transparency. So it's a full color with transparency file type. Choose save, it's gonna overwrite the one that we did. That's fine. Choose okay. Click on flatten, and that's now done. Now notice we lost our layers there because PNG can't have layers. That's why I saved it first as a paint.net file. Okay, we're all set. Let's go over and put this into Roblox. All right, back over here on this page, click on choose file. You want that PNG file right here, choose open. I need to have 10 Robux to do this. That's something like eight cents or something. So I'll click on that and we'll let that load up. I'll go ahead and agree to pay the 10 Robux and it's up and going. It could take just a little bit of time for it to show up over here. Oh, wait, we can go over here, click on the you know, drop down here and click on configure. There you go, it's actually loaded already. It looks pretty good. And let's just give this thing a name. I'll just call it colorful coat. And something for a special occasion. And then click on save changes. Back out to here, let's go over to the avatar. And there's the colorful coat. We'll just apply that one and see how that looks. Let that spin around. And I think that works out pretty well. It has a nice bright feel to it. Let's check this out in a larger view. And there we go. There's that new colorful shirt. I think that looks pretty good. 
If you like the video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and check out my channel for a bunch more gaming videos. And I'll see you next time.